Hi, I'm Anupa from Kefi Blossom Designs and today is a short tutorial on joining divided pattern pieces. Now what does that mean? Certain sections of the pattern, because of their size, cannot be printed on a single page. That's why they are divided and spread across different sheets. Uh, this is one example. Now when you look at a divided section, the first thing you must look at is the label. Over here it says section M, part 1 of 2 which means that this particular section is divided in two parts. And the next thing that you need to look at are the instructions. On some side of the cut section, you there will be some set of instructions. So in this case, it says, cut on this edge and using the half triangle as reference, join it section M part 2. So then I'll cut on this edge. So you have to be very careful, you have to cut only on the edge that the arrow points at. Now we'll go to part 2. Again, first thing, check the label and then read the instructions. In this case, it says cut on this edge and using the half triangle as reference, join with section M part 1. So this is part 1 that we cut earlier. When it says cut at this edge, you have to cut at this outer edge of the line. Don't cut in the middle of the line, don't cut on this side of the line because if you notice the pattern extends over the line. So this particular line falls within the pattern. So we should not lose this line. Alright, so now I'll start cutting at this edge of the line. So now this is part 1 and part 2. Now you'll notice wherever you've cut, one side will, will have some extra space. Like this part 1 has this, where you see the instructions written, that is an extra, extra page. So we will place this part 2 over that extra space. Try to match these points and then put a cello tape and join these two pieces together. You can just keep it like this and start joining the points uh, but I prefer to do it one point at a time so you can start with the triangle if you want or you can start from the top so once you're okay with the arrangement keep one hand in place and then with the other hand pull out a bit of cello tape and just place it at one spot preferably where all the lines are meeting so once this is done, then your paper will be in place. And then you can tape remaining portion. Uh, since this is a small area, I'm just uh, taping the ends. If you want, you can put a uh, complete cello tape. If you want, you can do the back also. Now I can see the section is only so much. So I'll tape only that part. Like taping the back is optional. That's it. Now our section is joined and we can cut out our section. Now this section was divided in two parts. But there are certain sections that are divided in three parts also. This is one such example. Again the process to join these parts is the same. You need to check the label first. So here it says part 1 of 3, which means there are 3 parts. Then you need to read the instructions. This instruction says, after combining 1 and 2, cut on this edge and then join with part 3. And the next instruction says, you need to cut on this edge and using the half, half triangle as reference, I need to join with part 2, which means I'll cut on I'll cut on this line first. Now I'll take part 2. Again, I'll cross check the label which says part 2 of 3 which confirms this is part 2. And then I'll read the instructions given on the side which says to cut on this edge which means this edge of the line. And then using the triangle as reference, I have to join with part 1. So first, I will cut on this edge. 
again like before whichever part has this extra side I'll keep that down and the other side I'll keep it on top and then match these points and then use a the cello tape to join them once you're okay with the placement you can take a bit of cello tape and just place it over it now taping the back part is again optional but since this is a big section I prefer to tape it so now as I read in the instruction earlier I have to cut at this edge and then join part 3 now I'll take part 3 and then read the instruction you need to read the instructions to know which edge you need to cut. So in this case, I need to cut on this edge. Again, so now this is uh, the extra portion here. And I'll place this part over this part. Match the points and then put cello tape over it. Maybe I'll turn it this way and try. Once you're okay with the placement, again use a cello tape. That's it. Now I can cut out the section using the outer grey border. Now our sections are joined and we can start stitching our fabric pieces over it. These sections belong to one of my patterns called Portrait of Mr. Klaus, which is available at my Etsy shop. Along with other patterns, there is also a pattern of Mrs. Klaus. In case if you are interested, you can check them out. I will link the shop in the description below. Hope this video was useful and until next time, bye-bye.